Hi everyone and welcome to a video about a brand new title that's going to be coming out, Tempest Rising. Many of you may have already seen this video, which I will now play. It's a reveal video. I'm going to play through and we're just going to watch it and I'm not going to say anything, so off we go. Rebel Command Uplink Initializer. Please stand by. Land across your Asia. You have proven yourself loyal to me so far, General. Our dynasty has waited long enough. Show me that my trust is not misplaced. Get to work. And there you go, guys. There's the video. There's the trailer. Let me know what you think down below while I talk. Probably a load of nonsense, but wow, am I excited about this game. CNC has always been one of my favorite franchises, and I was very excited when they released the tiny little sort of snippet trailer earlier in the year. I think it was CD Realms released it on Twitch or Twitter or whatever, and that was really exciting. Just the music, the sort of theme, it felt very CNC at the time. And I honestly thought, is that Frank Lepaki helping with the music? Is is Petroglyph involved? Is this a secret project they've been working on? Is EA involved? Um, obviously, this trailer suggests not. It, it's between 3D Realms and 2B. Um, I don't really know that company, but it, what they're producing is obviously outstanding in how it looks. I mean... What else can you say? This is a CNC game in all but name. I mean, it's so well hidden. Look at these guys. They look like the GDI. I'm just rolling these screenshots. And then this. This is the plant that they're fighting over. Some nuclear-fueled plant thing that they gather for research. It's, it's Tiberium. Look at it. It's basically Tiberium. There's no beating around the bushy. I, I can almost imagine they went to EA and said, Hey, look, we've made this RTS that is basically a cnc game give us the give us the ip and ea told them to go do one i don't know but you know the gdf this guy from the global defense force i'm sorry it, the entire thing is just gdi and the tempest the other side that your asia european faction crossover i mean look at the buildings look at the red look at the hand of nod that is literally there with a star in it. i mean i know it's not the fist of the hand of nod but there's no mistaking that. Come on. I mean, this is... This is C&C. In... It just... Everything about it is C&C. It's fantastic. I love it. Look at the walls with the gates and everything. Sandbag walls, stone walls. Unsure about the fact that they're using CG models for their FMV sequences by the look of it. But, you know, that's fair enough. I almost wish they were using people again like they did in CNC, but maybe that's a bit too slap on the wrist for them if they start doing that as well. Maybe EA would uh, pick too much of a fight. But I'm really surprised that there isn't a fight going on, to be honest with EA. I can imagine them being very upset about this. But yeah, I'm just really, really enamored with what I'm seeing so far. I mean, I think these guys are doing an amazing job. I think the other thing that greatly surprised me is how far along this entire thing looks. I mean, you know, we're seeing what appeared to be full-scale battles going on between the factions in these screenshots. It's not just like a one-off where 
they're showing a couple of units these don't look like necessarily edited screenshots obviously you've got some stuff that looks like it's from fmv sequences like this one here which was i think in the, a clip in the original trailer and it kind of makes you wonder what the third faction is going to be so there's going to be the two factions the gdf and the nod slash tempest who are your main playable factions they're going to be have a campaign each and then there's going to be a third faction is it going to be the screen Oh, their equivalent of it. Is it going to be the mutants from CNC, or is it just going to be another faction from the planet somewhere? And you've got all those aspects coming in, including some, you know, old tropes from uh, RTS. For example, the explosive barrels, which you can see there on the screen, they will explode. And then you've got off map artillery and stuff like that that you can call in. So off map stuff, which is a bit more modern, I suppose. And then, you know, look at the look at the side of the screen. There's an engineer stood next to that radar dish. That is a CNC engineer. Can he go into the buildings and repair them? Can he capture the buildings? What is his function? I'm assuming the same as it would be in CNC. And the tanks and stuff. You know, there's such a variety in the tanks. Look, there's multiple rocket launch systems down there in front of that, what I can only assume is a war factory. And then you've got enemies coming in behind it. It looks like some kind of Humvee with a weapon on top. And I'm noticing some chassis with, like one cannon on or two cannons is it that you'll be able to change them select what you want on it is it just a different type of tank is it an upgraded tank you know going back to the likes of generals where your tanks could be upgraded by picking up parts if you were the gla and then the other thing is the graphics and the way the units move and act look at this look at the flamethrower how much do i wish we got beautiful graphics like that in cnc we've not really had you know that kind of stunning fire effect and also i love the fact they've gotten the effort of having troops lay down and crawl along the ground like they did in the original cnc does that provide them extra cover etc etc lots of questions and i love this you know this one for me just screams red alert 2 you've got paratroopers coming in which is a big thing in red alert 2 you've got you know laser ta you've, you've got a bit of everything there from every cnc ever made to be honest but you know for me the pinnacle of cnc was red alert 2 is my favorite of the series and i don't know how everyone else feels i'm sure you all have your favorite some people preferred tiberian so i didn't mind it it was a good game but red alert 2 is always my favorite again here look at the explosions that we're seeing assuming these aren't edited because you know screenshots can be edited let's be fair if this is in game it is absolutely stunning loving as well that we're seeing down there in the bottom corner some hovercraft so that was something that they you know had in red alert 2 as well so stuff harkening back to that that just excites me a bit obviously you've got attack choppers and everything else and i'm just still amused by the hand of nod that's there but, I mean, what does everyone else think? How are you feeling about the game? What you've seen so far? Are you excited? I mean, I'm obviously, I'm sure I sound excited. I, I'm visibly excited. I'm moving my hands about while I'm talking. So, you know, this is a very, very welcome game for me. Because I have wanted a Command & Conquer style game again for quite some time. And nothing has really hit the mark. And I have tried other games. This one looks, and looks can be deceiving, let's be fair, but it looks like it's hitting the mark. And it might also push EA to make some kind of announcement about a new Command & Conquer. Is Petroglyph actually working on something? Were they planning to keep it hidden? Are they going to announce something? I honestly don't know. But... You know, I'm sorry, but they may be about to lose the crown of what a CNC style game is. Because if these guys can pull off a game that is good based on how it looks here, EA are in trouble because it's been years since they've managed to pump out a decent Command and Conquer game. And let's be honest, the last one got completely scrapped after a couple of revisions as well. I'm just loving the units, I'm loving the detail on the units, I'm loving the different styles we're seeing between the different factions that we've seen so far. Can't wait to see what the third faction is. But the maps, the graphics, the trees, everything just looked great. They've really impressed me so far. And you know, a game isn't all about graphics, it depends how it plays. But it's screaming to me that these guys have gone back to CNC and gone, we are going to make this game. We are going to make a CNC game. And my hats off to them if they have managed it because as i say i've been waiting for one and they're hitting the mark at the right time 
all these new RTS games are appearing. We've had Age of Empires 4 release, and you know, there's lots of other games on the horizon. We, Sanctuary is going to be the new Supreme Commander slash Forged Alliance. I don't know if anyone's seen that. I will be doing a video on it soon. I've been chatting to the devs. They are such a lovely bunch of guys and girls. Really nice team who really, really have a passion for the game that they're making. So that's another game to watch out for. And I'm really curious where this one goes as well. Obviously, two slightly different styles of games there. But, you know, really exciting times coming up for RTS fans. You know, we've also had Warno, we've got Regiments, we've got Broken Arrow potentially on the horizon. You know, I don't know when the release is going to be for that. They're still working on it. But yeah, I mean, I cannot at all complain about the amount of games that we as RTS fans have coming up. And I just have to keep my fingers crossed that they're all going to push the boundaries and also provide the fun and entertainment that we all know and love from these previous franchises, even if we're not getting the same franchise over again because the IP belongs somewhere else. But to these guys at 3D Realms and 2B, really, really loving what you're showing us so far. Can't wait to get my hands on it and have a little go. Really excited to see some more gameplay. I hope everyone else feels the same way. Let me know down in the comments if you're looking forward to this, how you feel about it. Do you hate my comparison with CNC? You can say that if you want. I don't mind. Let me know in the comments. But thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. And that's another good reason to subscribe because I will be doing more videos on this as we get more news. And obviously, if we get some gameplay over Gamescom, I will try and put a little something together for that. But I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic weekend and look forward to what we get to see at Gamescom.